In Utah, folks, residents will be celebrating Thanksgiving the way it was intended. This is a good thing. Republican Governor Gary Herbert is lifting the state's restrictions, limiting social gatherings ahead of the holiday. Herbert says he's ending the two-week-old mandate, banning casual get-togethers from two or more different households. The Republican governor is breaking from the overreach seen with Democrats that are pushing for a more invasive and more unconstitutional restrictions in so many states that they run. Our next guest is a Republican congressman-elect from the great state of Utah. Joining us now to discuss the government's overreach is Super Bowl winner Burgess Owens. Burgess, Congressman-elect, great to have you on the program. Thank, thank you so much. Looking forward to this conversation. Thanks so much for the invite. So, Burgess, I got to ask you, which is better, Super Bowl champion or congressman? <laughs> you, you know, what a good question, because at the time when I was 32 years old, it was awesome to be a Super Bowl champion. That was life. Right now, we're fighting for the hardest of our nation. So this is the place to be. And I'm so excited about the, the class that's coming on board of true patriots. And just get ready. Uh, we're going to stand up, fight, and articulate the good old American way, and I'm sure the American people will resonate will resonate with it. So I'm looking forward to that opportunity. Well, I, I want to get to these COVID restrictions, but since you, you brought that up, you're going in as a freshman congressman. We've got some tumultuous times now coming up in Washington. We've got the Senate race in Georgia that's going to decide the fate of the United States Senate, maybe the fate of the country if the president is, isn't successful. What's your plan going in now? How can you make a difference right off the bat? Well, the, the thing is, the American people have actually spoken, and that's why all, all along I would say I've had total faith in American people, I've total faith in Utahns, that we do the right things at the right time. What we've done is we've flipped 13 seats, possibly 14, uh, we'll find out this, this coming week, which gives us the, the smallest margin of majority since World War II. What it says to those who are, are really paying attention is that we don't want socialism, we don't want Marxism, we want freedom, we want opportunity. And, uh, and, and those who are still in the Democratic Party, they have wondered what it is to be a moderate. Now is your opportunity, because as long as you continue to uh, uh, go hard left, what the Pelosi has, has, has decided them to do for the last two years, they're going to lose more seats coming up. So I think we're going to have more uh, discussion across the across uh, uh, the, the different divide that we'll will be really working again hard to make sure that we the people are getting our voices out there. So I'm excited about it, and uh, we just, we're going to stand strong against the ideology that's gotten us to where we are today. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity. All right, when you talk about tyrannical behavior, uh, you know, we throw around this term tyranny all, all the time. I, I, I don't want it overused, but when you start putting curfews on people, when you start mandating they can't see their families in their own homes, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm glad Utah's taken some steps to push back on this, but we've got a lot of places across the country that are not Burgess. Yeah. Well, and here, here's the thing. This is what I'm excited about with the American people. Uh, we, we are people of optimism. We, we just see the best. We, we dream big. And until we have something that hits us hard, like a Pearl Harbor 9-11, in this case 2020, we have no idea sometimes how close we are to losing our freedoms. We have the Democrats, independents, and Republicans across the board that recognize how close we have come. When we can't go to church. We can't open a business. Uh, we, we can't open our schools. And it's all from the same party. So we're going to have a conversation that we might not have had if it had not happened for this disastrous 2020 in this regard. Uh, and we also have had a president who's shown us what American loving leadership looks like, courageous, uh, uh, staying strong to the, to the, the tenets and the values of our nation, and, and not bowing down. So we, not only do we have a, uh, a stronger House, uh, we need to make sure that we hold on to, the, to Georgia, to the Senate. And I, I have faith in the Georgian people. Uh, again, we stand up, we do the right things at the right time, and right now we need to put a big-time wedge and a big-time wall between us and socialism. So getting our last, these last two uh, Look, senators in place allows us to have the next two years to work together and make that happen. I think uh, President Trump is somewhat responsible for your victory over an incumbent. There are many times it's very hard to beat an incumbent, Burgess, as you know, and, and, and you did it here. But President Trump taught Republicans some lessons. You can fight. You don't need the media. You don't need to kowtow to the media. And you certainly don't need to kowtow to the left either. And you need to stick up for what you believe in and stop, stop bowing down to not just the left, but the establishment as well. Take all of those things, and I hope Republicans like yourself run with that in Washington this time around. We will, because again, now we know what it looks like. Keep in mind, the last three years has been an eye-opener for so many people. The reason why we had such a great turnout of 75, 74 million people, 18% of black uh, men voting for President Trump, doubling black women, Hispanic, you name it across the board, we understand what it feels to have hope. And we've been promised this for decades. 
we finally understand that it takes what it takes. It might, you know, it, it, it's not a matter of the tweeting. It's a matter of the policies. Policies that give all Americans an opportunity to have freedom and, and opportunity. And I tell you, the genie's out of the box, yeah. out of the bottle. We will never go back to the ways of the old school uh, elitism. We now understand what it looks like, and we're going to start holding these people accountable. And across these states, of course, well, I'm not in New York. New York is up to you guys. If you want to keep this up, continue to vote for people like uh, uh, the, the, the governor you have and, and the and the mayor you have. If you don't want it, vote for somebody well, else. I know here, I know across the board in the country, we're now looking and making sure we hold out our, our uh, officials accountable, and we will make we will make that happen based on how we come out of this pandemic. Pandemic. It's it's called free will. And people need to exercise it, and they need to exercise it to push back uh, against this behavior that is so overreaching and so oppressive. Um, Burgess Owens, I'm always going to call you Super Bowl champion. I can't wait to add <laughs> Congressman to, to your name as well, but I always enjoy talking to you. It's great to see you again, my friend, and thank you for coming on the program. Well, let's do this again as soon as we can, my friend. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. You, you got it, Burgess. Thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.